Hey guys, this is Chris Code, and today I'm going to show you what opacity is and how to use it inside of Photoshop. Now, you see up here with the brush tool selected, and I believe also you can do it with the pencil tool selected, we have a option over here to the right called opacity. I currently have it set to 48%, we'll set it to 100% so that I can show you what it looks like with no opacity. Now, opacity is essentially the transparency of whatever you are trying to draw. If you have 0% opacity, then a line would be completely invisible. If you have 100%, then it is completely solid and you will not be able to see anything behind it. But if you have something in between, like say 50%, then you should be able to kind of make out what is actually behind it, even though you just drew over it. So if we uh, make this whole spot a little bit wider, you can see that we can still see the tree branches on uh, this image, even though the uh, red uh, brush strokes are completely hovering over it. So there's other ways you can also do opacity. It doesn't have to be with the brush tool or the pencil tool directly, uh, but you can actually go over to the layers section which if you don't have open you can open in windows layers or just hit F7 and then you can go over to any layer you want and change the the opacity of the entire layer like if we do this you can see that some crazy things pop up behind it uh, because now the layers somewhat see-through and that actually has a lot of uses uh, for instance if you were trying to draw a box to have some text inside but you didn't want the box to completely cover over whatever image was behind it uh, this is something I like to do so we'll go ahead and uh, create a solid box here opacity we'll say uh, 70 percent okay and we fill that Okay, we'll go ahead and change this layer back to 100%. Yeah, yeah, you have to keep in mind which layer you're actually interacting with because if you change the opacity of an entire layer over here, uh, then that'll apply not only to, say, this image, but also to the box it just created. But now we have kind of a screen filter created using opacity where we can actually write text here for, let's say, a thumbnail. And if we were to actually export this, it would be a little bit more clearly visible than if we didn't have this grayish screen filter hovering over the image. Uh, so this is something you can do uh, whenever you're editing images, especially if you were going to make a thumbnail for YouTube. Uh, opacity overall is very useful. I tend to use it a lot whenever I'm working in Photoshop. Uh, so I would recommend keeping it in mind and giving it a shot the next time you are in Photoshop and trying to edit an image. So I've been Chris Code. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.